Tulsa Airport, headed for Bentonville, Arkansas. So, yeah, I've heard so much about Bentonville from super good friends, Curtis and Devin, who I feel lucky to get to stay with on this trip, but also so many others, too, in the cycling world who have told us about how crazy the bike trails, mountain biking, everything's growing in Bentonville, so super excited to check it out. We are here for the Big Sugar 100 mile gravel race. So kind of one of the last bigger events of the season. It is the final stop on the, the Lifetime Grand Prix race series that went down this year. Um, so a lot of the top women are here racing for that final race that counts towards their points. Um, but yeah, I saw photos from last year's race and it just looks amazing. We've wanted, been wanting to come out, check this area out, visit our friends. So yeah, here we are. Two weeks today post Kona. So two weeks, I feel like energy levels and fatigue and jet lag from getting back from Hawaii kind of started to go away maybe two days ago. So that got me excited. Like, okay, the Kona fog has lifted been getting on my gravel bike every day just wanted to come out and enjoy yeah enjoy this event what do you think of Bentonville I think it's super cool I mean we're 12 hours in we've got a ride in we got some drinks and dinner last night at a super cool restaurant. Trails were amazing last night. Curtis took me out on about a 90 minute cruise. Hit gravel, road, bike path, single track. Um, yeah, it's yeah. rad. Yeah, and this nice little apartment that he's yeah. put us up in. Yeah, he <laughs> fixed up his basement. Uh, I think they're gonna use it for an Airbnb or some sort of short-term rental. So yeah, yeah, check if out. anyone ever needs a perfect little studio or no one bedroom basement apartment, cement floors conducive to little pups. <laughs> it's perfect. We're in great location. This morning we're going to go check out a coffee shop. He recommended get some coffee, um, do some final adjustments to the gravel bike, get a ride in. I have to register. And Big Sugar race day is tomorrow. And there's the baby boo. think of onyx coffee Ooh, very cool yeah great coffee got a little muffin for breakfast cool vibe cool coffee shop. caught up with some friends saw some friends yeah. lots of friends everyone's out like just yeah enjoying the beautiful morning coffee everything's getting set up in the town square so yeah it's cool little race buzz going little race buzz but still like yeah it's just like laid back, which I love. It's just like fun morning. Like nobody's stressed out. It's just, we're gonna ride bikes tomorrow. Yeah. So, Exciting. Cool. so gonna go put some new tires on the bike. Yep, new tires. Yeah, opting for the uh, IRC okay. double cross, 42 Cs. That's what we're going with. All right, on the NV G23s? Yeah, we're going 23s, G23s, but I'm gonna see if Curtis will help me get these tires changed because. Yeah. I think Stevie will help you. Stevie's gonna help. <laughs> Are you gonna Don't help? you want to help? Are you gonna help, Stevie? Yeah. Want to change some tires? Yeah. Filling it up real nice. Is this the front or rear front? Go a little less than half, maybe. We'll probably lose a bunch anyway, so.
Yeah, I like when I put them in <laughs> for gravel roads, I like when. <laughs> All right, pre yeah, pre what are we doing? Course. Well, are we not doing? the course, but heading out day before the race. Um, quick ride? I don't know, 90 minutes, two hours again? That's probably good. Yeah, I see the tilt of that because uh, they're like keeping the side walls. Oh, God. So, All right, where did the tire pressure land after the inserts? Uh, we ended up at like 18 or 19 tire pressure. start time tomorrow morning? Not crazy. 7.30. Okay. Probably want to be down there by 7, so I don't know if we'll ride down. It's not far. Curtis and Devin don't live too far downtown, so yeah, the sun far. comes up at like 6.30, so maybe ride at 6.30 down. Um, probably makes sense to ride. Uh, we'll see how cold it's going to be, but... It was pretty cold this morning. <laughs> for me, anyway. <sighs> exactly, so... Time to get some breakfast, maybe some snack stuff for this afternoon. Water, gotta do all my nutrition for tomorrow, get the bottles made, lay that out. It's just, like, it. just like an Iron Man <laughs> with no swimming. Oh, no swimming. I feel, it feels not as extreme as prepping for that so far. Just gotta get the camel back, the bottles. Well, it's like I'm coming off Kona right now of laying it out for a nine hour day. Tomorrow should be uh, five to six-ish. Supposed to be a little bit cooler, like 75, but really windy tomorrow. Right. And the course is pretty choppy, rolly, yeah. climbing, mm -hmm. chunky gravel. Yep, exactly. And the headwind will be the last chunk of the course, so probably final. 20 miles or so um, when and we're coming back down south because it's a southerly wind so it's gonna be make those last 20 miles hard if yeah. you're so low into a headwind or who knows right. in a group trying to stay behind <laughs> out of the wind
Got some yogurt, granola, banana. Um, yeah, pretty basic. They're just like, like random spots. Oh, nice. Okay. I mean, there's a long neutral rollout, so. Okay, it's kind of staged up there. Yeah. Okay. I know. It is. Yeah. on that final climb. Yeah. A lot in the past about finding the confidence to believe that you're capable of a result like this. <laughs> well, congratulations. We are happy to officially welcome you to the gravel side. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to next year. Yeah. 